it's Brooklyn. I teased this video with the lightsabers in the background of another video, and I'm so excited to be talking about lightsabers again. With all the new Apple products coming out, it's been a while since we've got to geek out about lightsabers. Today, we're talking about some of the geekiest, but also the coolest lightsabers. They are, of course, custom lightsabers that you can make at Disneyland or Disney World inside Galaxy's Edge at Savvy's Workshop. I've got three of four options here with me. Before we dive into specifics, let's talk about how to get started because it actually can be a little bit difficult figuring out how to get the opportunity to build one of these. For starters, you have to have a ticket to the park, so that'd be Disneyland in California or Hollywood Studios in Disney World, Florida. You're also going to need to make reservations days, weeks, or even months in advance. Sometimes it isn't too difficult to get a reservation, but if you're going at a super busy time, it could be a challenge, and I'd recommend making a reservation as soon as you can. The cost is $220, at least at the time of this video being made. For that $220, you get a hilt and a blade and a carrying case. So the cost is actually higher than most of the other legacy lightsabers, but also the legacy lightsabers don't come with a blade or a carrying case. The legacy lightsabers do come with the plastic storage cases, which I actually kind of prefer. I'm not a huge fan of the carrying case, but some people do love it. After making a reservation, you'll arrive at Savvy's at your time, and before entering in to build your saber, you'll be asked, what kind of saber do you want to build? There are four different options. Peace and justice, elemental nature, protection and defense, and then power and control. Kind of reminds me how the Kingdom Hearts game where you choose at the beginning different between different type of strengths, which is really fun. You get to do it in real life. Once you choose, they will give you a little pin to put on. That's actually pretty cool. This will tell the workers which one you decided on, and they will bring you the correct, correct set once it's time to start building. I actually have these three pins here with me today, and we have peace and justice, elemental nature, and then protection and defense. So this is the part where things get really cool. They bring you and do a whole presentation and you get to build your lightsaber. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a video next time I go to Disney and, or if you would rather see more legacy lightsabers. I am totally fine with both. We have three here today and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how these all go together and what is happening here. So we'll take this apart. These just snap off. So for starters, you see this internal piece here that is what everything connects to something super awesome here though is that you can see this little blank space for the kyber crystal the legacy sabers do not have this without geeking out too much in star wars and in these sabers this crystal is what um gives the saber power it also is the crystal the crystal also helps determine the color of the blade in the presentation, you can choose between four different colors. Blue, green, purple, or red. You can also buy um, different colored crystals at Doc Honors, Onders in addition to these four colors. You can buy yellow or white. This is one of the coolest things about these sabers is that they are modular even down to the blade color. You can change it up to fit your mood, or more importantly, match your outfit. As for the rest of the saber, you get a few different options for pieces with whatever you decide to choose. You can see here that we have a few extra pieces from Elemental Nature, which yes, they are extra. After the presentation, you can buy extra scrap pieces and you can buy any of the pieces that are av available in the presentation. They don't limit you to a style that you choose either. So you can see here that I have a piece from the power and control set, even though we didn't build a lightsaber from that style, which is really awesome. I think most people will be happy with what they build and not want to change things up. But just so you know, if you do want different options, you can buy these pieces. Uh, the only thing that you can't buy is the internal part. 
you will have to go through the building process and pay the $220 to get this. I've seen some people be nervous about building one or afraid they will not know how to put it together. And really don't be, it's actually pretty easy to put together. And the staff at Disney is super helpful and patient. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Okay guys, this part is really hard, let me tell you. You have to line up your colors. Yeah. So you're gonna put blue with blue and then the red with the red. And it was just snapping. Oops, <laughs> turned it on. And then these pieces will just twist on. And then the bottom piece. Oh, I twisted on for good. Okay, so as you can see, super simple. I just did that super fast. So don't be threatened by that at all. It's really fun to make. You guys need to do this experience, so fun. Well, that's the process. I'm talking today mostly about the specifics and showing some options. But if you're looking at this and thinking, hmm, you know, those are actually really cool and I'd like to have one, you're in for an adventure because the building process and presentation is a lot of fun. That's something that you're gonna miss out on if you just get the legacy lightsabers, this experience. And yeah, I know it's a lot of money for just an experience that only lasts like 20 minutes or so, but isn't that also a lot of the charm and fun of Disneyland or Disney World? Just being in the environment and enjoying the world they've created? Yeah. Building one of these lightsabers at Savvy's Workshop makes you feel a part of the world more than any other experience available at the park. These lightsabers are actually my little nieces who are seven and eight. And for kids that age that love Star Wars, it's just an amazing experience. And let me tell you, they love these things. These are their lightsabers and they built them and they have a lot of pride in them. There's something really cool about it being their own. It's a different kind of experience from legacy sabers, which I feel is more nostalgic, but a lot less immersive. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really miss doing these lightsaber reviews, so thank you guys. Let me know in the comments if you also missed them and if you want more videos of the lightsabers. It's super fun to geek out with you guys. Let's be friends on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. So in the description below, go ahead and follow me on those. I would really appreciate it. And may the force be with you.